Hello, everybody. It's a beautiful Sunday, November 21st. I'm in um, Cartona Park uh, in the Bronx. Very enjoyable day to make a walk around the park. Um, my youngest son is um, at a tennis uh, practice in this park. And while he's on the practice, I thought it would be nice to walk around and uh, just to enjoy the view, the beautiful um, pollen colors of the trees, really. And um, while we're walking here, while I'm walking here, I thought it would be um, interesting to look for um, pets, creatures for um, terrarium. Um, if you're interested in terrariums. Um, one of those uh, creatures um, that could be interesting to keep is uh, slugs, very easy to find actually. And um, that's what I uh, want to uh, show you where you can find the slugs and um, uh, different insects and um, creatures like um, isopods. They basically all live in the same places. Um, so let's walk a little bit and see. Um, slugs uh, tend to uh, stay in um, damp places, um, behind the trees, uh, tree barks and the uh, fallen trees often, um, under the rocks. Uh, places where uh, there's high humidity and um, you know, water condensation, so <laughs> in the parks in New York City at least. It's kind of hard to find uh, too many fallen trees that stay too long. Uh, park keepers usually take care of those really quick. But still, uh, yeah, I see something. Uh, that looks like something where where we can find slots or maybe something else. You know what? Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna let me just second to set up the uh, tripod for you to better view it. So here we have a piece of mm, furniture lying around uh, for quite a while, I think, maybe more than months. Get a bird, and I'm gonna lift it up. But before we start uh, picking the um, dirt, looking for creatures, there are a couple things you need uh, to get. It's uh, gloves. Yeah, it helps to stay clean and uh, most importantly uh, not to harm uh, the um, slug if we find a slug's kind of sensitive chemicals if you use um, uh, any kind of lotion or hand sanitizer it could be very harmful to the slug uh, if you handle it so gloves and the other thing is to get um, a container where you're gonna put um, whatever you can find your catch uh, I have a plastic container, uh, $16, I believe, and um, I made um, a couple holes, tiny holes uh, in the cover, so this way when we close the container with screech inside, there will be some oxygen, uh, air coming in the box, alright? So, with gloves and container ready <laughs> to explore, um, let's go and do it. Let's set the container nearby. Ready. Uh, some uh, creatures, like um, isopods, they move really quick. They can be good runners. Slugs are slow, so the slugs you can pick it up. Alright, let's do it. And here we go. Ooh. You see this creature? I don't know what it is. This is a worm. I got a worm. And this is a huge one. This is, I think it's kind of eared worm. And for us, I found one. Right here. That's actually a standard of one. Uh, 
in very good shape. So we can put them in containers. Alright, and close it. That's simple like that. You gotta catch. Alright. Um, well, um, before we go on anywhere further, let's put everything back. Leave other creatures chance to to find a home. Now I see a couple more uh, wooden pieces and uh, well something green over there for the maybe could be interesting findings too. Let's lift up this one because I'm still looking for um, uh, isopods. Uh, isopods is interesting creatures. They're totally harmless in, the, in terrarium. Um, and uh, serve very well as um, as a cleaning crew. Okay. So once again, let's get that um, container ready. Gloves on. Spider. <laughs> well, I'm not interested in spiders right now. Let's lift it up. Um, I see more slugs here. And uh, yeah, they're going to go. Slugs. So we need two minutes. Oh, yeah. You see? Uh, it's something. Isopods, a baby isopods running around. And this looks like a snail to me. I'll just shake the other pots in. You can see them running. It's a baby isopod. I think it's isopod. Right. And you go down. And that's a snail. Yeah. And snail. Beautiful. Now, I don't know what this is. Um, some kind of warm i don't know yeah a good thing about uh, picking up anything here you also want to get some oh there's a big big word uh, run away <laughs> hard to catch a uh, good thing you can do to pick up um leaves uh, that's what um, anything that lying around here. It's most likely uh, a food for your for your creatures that you catch, uh, that you caught. Um, they actually feed on it, and you see it's all moisture. Take more than you can uh, take care of in your, in your terrarium with the sand. You don't need any extra. So, oh, this one is moving really fast, it's already climbing out. You want to go home? I know. I'll just stay here for a while. Uh, so lock it. And now let's put back. Lock here, snail here. A tiny snail. Can you see it? All right. Let's put it back. And uh, one more. I think we can uh, look up over there on that green piece of plastic. Let's go over there. I 
hope you can see it. So let's dig in and see what's hiding there. Oh, beautiful. One second. Let's get the box open. That's an isopod right here. And this one is, um, I think it's a blue powder isopod. Yeah, go in. Let's see, maybe we can find some more inside. Well, no luck. And now we can take a closer look on what I found. So leaves, a big couple of leaves, just for to start with. And there is a a big adult um, isopod. It's actually good to find uh, a dozen or so uh, isopods to start with. A snail here. And, um, well, a slug and worms. The whole setup for, for terrarium, really, <laughs> if you think about it. No, I'm not gonna take it home. Uh, I don't really need it right now. I just want to show you how easy it can be to find um, uh, creatures and pets for your terrarium. I support exploring thing. They're good runners, very good runners. All right, guys. Uh, let me uh, release my cage back where it belongs to the nature. Yeah, that's it. Uh, mission accomplished. <laughs> we found a couple things, as I promised you. Um, well, you don't have to go really deep into water to get to find some, well, I mean, to the dirt, and to the dirt to find um, uh, something interesting for terrarium. Terrariums make really um, interesting at home. You can do a lot of projects. Um, let me step off. Bottom is beautiful. There is a little lake. I'm gonna walk about around this lake. Maybe we'll find something else to take a look at. I guess that's it for today. Hope you enjoy and uh, uh, I hope it, uh, my video helps you to set up your own wild creatures in the in terrarium. Have fun and happy terrariums! <laughs>